Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basics of geometry nodes in Blender 3.3. Let's get started. Okay, so firstly, I'm just going to start by adding a cube. So this is the main object that we're going to add our geometry nodes. So I'm just going to go to the geometry nodes tab and click on new. Okay, so now we have these two nodes called group input and group output. So I'm just going to start by deleting the group input and then add a cube. So I'm just gonna search up cube. It's the same thing actually, you just have to do shift A and then you have uh, the menu. So now we have a cube here. I'm just gonna add a transform node. So now we can scale with the proportions, the translation, rotation and scale. So if I do it in the X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Okay, so now we can fully move and rotate our cube, scale it as well. So now I'm just going to add a group input. So what this does is to get the translation, rotation and scale into the node that we have here. So I'm just going to gr grab the ash one, Rem make sure it's the ash one. So I'm just going to drag it, the translation rotation and scale of the object so now we can see that we have our all our like proportions here on the node so it's easier for the person who's like editing okay so now firstly let's select these three nodes and then click on ctrl j to group them so it's easier for us to like maneuver stuff. So I'm just gonna name this UV sphere. No, not Q. Okay, so now we're gonna add a UV sphere next. So I'm just gonna name it UV sphere. And then I'm just gonna set the color to red. You can put it to anything you want. So now instead of a cube, I'm gonna add a UV sphere. So go shift A and add a UV sphere and put the mesh into the geometry. So now we have a UV sphere and we can rotate it, scale it and translate it. Okay, so here in this gap, we're gonna add the instance and points node. And make sure you don't get like confused on instance on points and instance two points. So I'm just gonna select instance on points and, and make sure the geometry is connected to points. Now the instance, we're gonna be adding, hmm, what should we add? I think we should add an icosphere. I'm just gonna go to mesh and put the mesh into the instance. So now we have humongous icospheres covering our icosphere. So I'm gonna set the subdivisions to two. What happened, okay. And then our radius, approximately 0.1. So now we have like a circular icosphere wrapped UV sphere. That doesn't even make sense. So it's like kind of a ball. Just gonna set the subdivisions to three. Okay, so when we rotate this, it rotates in the Y axis and in the Z axis. And then scale as well. It's like squash and stretch, but the wrong way around. I'm just gonna set these to zero. What? No, zero. Why did I do zero? Okay, whatever. I just set them all to zero and one. I'm just gonna scale it, yeah, in the Z axis to make sure it's working. So it's squash and stretch. Okay. So after we've got a good size, not zero. Why do I keep doing zero? Okay, whatever. Okay, here, I think there's something called, um, what do you call it? A divide node? Or a multiply node? There are no multiply nodes, huh? Oh, now I get it. We have to search for something else. Divide. It's not there because, um... Divide is not because there's another node and you have to change it. I think it's called the math node. 
not the subdivide mesh sorry and we have to change that to divide so for now i'm just gonna not get that far okay now let's just go to the layout and just shade smooth it it doesn't shade smooth because we did it in the geometry and you have to do it in the geometry nodes so i'm just gonna leave it as low poly for now it's not exactly low poly i'm just going to go to the what do you call it modifiers tab and then like animate it i think rotation doesn't work in the animating thing so i'm just going to firstly do scale go zero go one i'll just try rotation so it's like squash and stretch okay so we change so i'll just try rotation but i think it doesn't work in the animating i'll just check using rotation I'm just gonna rotate every axis. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much gonna not gonna work. Look, it scorches and stretches on its angle. That's all it does. So technically, it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna delete the animations and leave it as it is. Yeah, make sure it's yeah, it's okay. I'm just gonna go back to the geometry nodes. And this increase the radius to 0.3. That looks more like I have no idea. I'm just gonna leave it at 0.1 and delete it because well, I'm gonna add something else. I'm gonna add a cube. Um, what was I supposed to do? Why did I do that? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna get the cube. What am I doing? Okay, and put it into the instance. Now let's just set the size to 0 0.1. Yeah, so now we can like have cubes. If we change vertices, it doesn't do anything, so I'm not in interested in that. Okay, I'm just going to move this node group and then add a transform node into this so we can move all the cubes manually and not the whole thing. So if we like do that, set it to zero and then the scale, we can scale the cubes by themselves, not the whole icosphere. So that's actually really cool. Okay, the rotation we can uh, move the, rotate the cubes manually on their own axis so that's actually really cool okay so now we get these three nodes and then let's control J to group them into one thing and if we want to get the sidebar we have to click N I'm just gonna name it instance. Nope, sorry, instance. And then check the color box, put it to blue. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now that we have this and all of it set, let's like go to the, what do you call it? Where is it? I'll go to the group and instead of naming it translation I'm just gonna name it what should we name it probably location of the object and then rotation and scale should sit um, be where it is not be where it is like I'm not gonna change it so I'm just gonna duplicate the group input node and then instead of only having the icospheres like moving and stuff let's put what do you call it the transform and the rotation and the scale 
of the cubes into a G into a node. So I'm just going to not location. I have to name the translation. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna name it instance L. So it's the instancing's location. And I'm just gonna copy this. And then go to rotation and then paste it. And inst instead of L, I'm just gonna do R because it's rotation. And S for this because it's scale. Okay. I'm just gonna go to layout. I'm just gonna delete the animation because we don't want that. Now, if we play with the instancings. Firstly, the location of the whole icosphere. Just testing things out. Rotation. And scale. Whoa, whoa. That's way too much. That looks good. Now the instancing. Because all objects have to move, it's like... Everything moves, so technically everything moves. It's technically like the location. Just gonna move it back. Instancing rotation, you can see it rotates. You can see the cubes rotate by themselves. And in the Z axis. And then the scale, they scale by themselves in the X, Y, and Z locations. I'm just gonna set all these to zero. And set the scale to 1. You set these to 0. Oh, what? 0 doesn't work. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to set it to 1. Not actually 1. Why doesn't work? Selection to cursor. So it goes back to where it is. Okay, the origin point is not good. Yeah, I'm just going to test it out. Origin to geometry. Or origin to center of mass doesn't work because this is geometry nodes. So I'm just gonna test them out. Nah, that doesn't work. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Wait, I'm inside the icosphere. Set these to zero. Set those to zero. One. Not zero. Am I serious or what? <laughs> okay, so that's a final. Another thing that's worth mentioning is without just cubes, we could add anything we want. So I'm just going to delete the cube. And then I'm just going to add a monkey. A monkey head. He's called Suzani, by the way. I'm just going to go back to the cube. And then drag Suzani head into the workspace. It's going to get the object info. What? Okay. Just gonna move it there. Oh no. I knew this would happen. I just disconnected everything. I'm just gonna put them back. What? It didn't connect. I'm not connecting it right. Oh no. Okay, I just put it to the translation. Put this here. And get the geometry. And put it to the geometry. So now we have Suzanne heads. Yay. Okay, so Suzani heads are big. These ones are big, I mean. I'm just gonna scale the instancings to 0 0.1 probably. So now we have tiny Suzani heads all over this thing. I'm just gonna scale to 0 0.05. So now we have Suzani heads everywhere. So now you could add any object you want. You could use houses. Don't know. Mm, probably you. Make everything, anything you want and drag it in. So instead of, uh, what do you call it, UV sphere, let's add a cube and put the mesh to geometry. So then the eight vertices will go there. Now, now I'm gonna add another icosphere. So then the points go to the icosphere. I'm just gonna go back to the UV sphere. 
put the mesh into the geometry. So that's actually our final thing. A thing, yeah. It's a Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next video.